Good day, folks. Today we're taking a look at the 75-ton Thanatos. This mech is a uh, missile and a uh, laser build. Uh, it's a little quirky in the fact that all of its missiles are in the arm, so you really got to watch that. You got to twist the other arm. The problem with that, of course, is all the lasers almost are all on that side, so six of one, half a dozen the other. But the way I went with it today is a little different than the standard loadout, I think. Um, what I have found a lot of people using on this is mead pulses, uh, and one less mead pulse than I have ER meads here, actually, uh, and SRM6s. The Firepower um, Alpha with that is disgusting. I think it's like 78 or something like that. Um, but to do that, you have to do a few things. One, obviously change out the MRMs for SRMs, the ERMEs for mead pulses, and you have to change out the light engine for something lighter, um, the lower one, maybe like a 325 or something like that. Um, and um, you end up, we have a 1.32 heat uh, management here. The other way with the mead pulses and SRM6s, I think it's 1.16. So the other one has, if you set it up with the SRMs and the mead pulses, it has one hell of a punch. Try it out. Set it up that way. Has a heck of a punch. I mean, you, you, you face against something, you're either crippling it immediately or killing it outright. The problem is twofold. Heat and the fact that because you need heat management so badly in the skill tree, uh, skill tree um, that you have to take it away from somewhere. And if you're not going to take it away from the firepower tree or the heat tree, you're going to take it away from armor. Um, so it ends, up, it ends up being a short range build with not all of the armor quirks, some, but not all of them. So I prefer to be a little bit more conservative and do it this way. We got four MRM 10s, ER Meads. We have a long range punch on this because the ER Meads have a range of like, um, was it 828 with the, with the bonus uh, range extensions? And the MRMs, of course, have a range max of um, 600 and something there, 550 plus 82, whatever that is. Carry the two, whatever. 60, 642.522. If I did the math right, um, and it has a heat management 1.32, which is manageable. Although I think I did blow myself up at the end of the second match, but that was mostly because I'd lost uh, torso and heat management and blah blah blah, whatever. Excuses, excuses. I blew myself up, but whatever. Uh, in any case, this is the uh, mech build that I chose for this, and uh, with a 65 ton alpha or 65 point alpha firepower. Uh, and a 75.6 kilometer speed. Its speed is its defense. And its range is its defense. And its firepower is its offense, of course. Uh, I mean, that's just obviously... That's an op firepower is offensive. Yes, it is. Um, but in this case, um, I'm just saying it based on... Those are the ups and downs of this build. So I hope you enjoy these two videos coming up. Um, they, this mech is a lot of fun to play. And you can... It, under the right circumstances, you can do a lot of damage with this thing. It's a major paint scraper um, i suggest firing the missiles first then the lasers um, do as you wish the reason i say that is because missiles have spread but once they hit 40 mrm it's an mrm 40 basically um and it will strip paint off or you know armor and paint and so forth and then when you see the paper doll you can target the weakest area with the lasers if you have the opportunity now, some people might say, why am I not just putting an MRM-40 in here? Well, two reasons. One, uh, an MRM-10 is uh, three tons. So four times three, 12. An MRM-40, 12. There's no benefit tonnage-wise. So you're saying to yourself, well, okay, but it's still just you know one volley instead of four. True. The problem is, is if this arm gets a crit and you have an MRM-40, your weapon's gone. If you get a crit with four tens, you might lose one, maybe two, but you'll still have some. That's my logic thinking on it. If it's wrong, so be it. But that is what I thought about it. So in any case, um, enjoy these two videos coming up. I'll stop talking now. Have a good day. I'll see you on the battlefield. All right, folks, here we go. We're in the Thanatos today. This is an MRM and laser build. Um, we're going and the MRMs are all in one arm, so we don't want to lose that arm. Get in here and see what we can do with it. Sorry. 75.6 kilometers an hour is decent speed. We'll take it over to the Delta side of the map.
the MRMs are in the right arm, so we have to watch that right arm. We'll have the torso twist left. We're gonna do stuff like that. Good start, I guess. Oh, crap. Got my guy in the back. Sorry about that, buddy. I was trying to get the shot off by this moving. MRMs, I, I had SRMs on here before, and they they move a little uh, faster, I guess. Well, that Warhammer's about to pop. I want him. Let me get him. Shots. So far, so decent. I wouldn't. I won't say so good. I'll say so decent. Two to one is a decent lead, not a good lead. You know what I mean? Interesting. We're going down. They're going down fast here. does mean that we're eventually going to be sticking our back to him, and I don't like that at all. I also know that there's a guy coming up this way. Need an angle. Need an angle. Get rid of this guy ASAP. I had jump jets. I don't. I uh, don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Bastard. Paper Eagle. Come on, stick your head out again, please. I need you to stick your head out. An angle this way. It's a 10 2 situation, so let's go after this guy, I guess. Can I get an angle on this guy if I go up here? I don't know. No, nope, but we won anyway, so it doesn't matter in the end. <clears throat> so we gotta watch the heat on this mech, but it is a lot of fun to play and it's got some range on it, which is good. Let's see what's going on. We have zero killing blows, seven kill assists, one KMDD, 486 damage done, 367 taken, and one component destroyed. Team stats are probably somewhere in the middle or maybe even the low end. 297, so one, two, three, fourth in the group, fifth in the match. So I hope you enjoyed number one. Stay tuned for the second video of this mech with this build, and I'll see you on the battlefield. All right, folks, round two in the Thanatos. Uh, this is um, the fourth match I've done in this mech, but the third uh, third time I've recorded. And I've got one that's kind of iffy, so I don't know if I'm going to use that one or not. We'll see how this one goes. It's iffy in the sense that I was doing really well, and then I got a, I got piranha. <laughs> This planet has Ewoks. Utai, Utai, Utai. 
Yup, nub. Well, those are sophisticated, sophisticated Ewoks with metal, uh, um, what do you call it? Stairs going up to the tree houses. Another one up there. All right, let's stop admiring the scenery and start shooting the crap out of things. Ichiwawa. Sorry, I had to throw that one in there. <laughs> so with this, uh, this mech uh, is a little bit of a Franken mech uh, in the sense that it's got nice weapon payloads possibilities. Uh, you can do this with SRMs and meat pulses, although that runs really hot. But the Alpha, like a 76 point Alpha or something like that. This one's a 60 something, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that. I've made a couple of changes over testing things out to see how it works. So I will go over it in the intro, which you've already seen. I always do that. I talk about, I'll go over it in the intro, but you see the intro first before you see the videos, assuming you watch it. Not that you have to, but that's where the information is. Yeah, I'm not running across here until we know what's going on. Take the trees down, though. Deforestation. Deforestation by Max. Apple spray Provica. Okay, so, so far, the enemy is nowhere. All right, there they are. Come around here and hold from here. We'll see how this works. Don't even know if they were in range, but had to give it a shot. Well, they were range for the lasers, but. Big boys are probably coming from this side. Let's get into that range. We're at 630. We are in MRM range. Cool little bits. That guy's pretty much toast. Although it's a three is nothing situation for us now, so that's not good. I'd like to get my kill. Well, linebacker, you ran in front of me. It's not my fault. Oh yeah, they're coming around behind us. We gotta move. We gotta move fast. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a hard push because we got guys left and right here. We gotta got big guys there. We gotta get rid of him. ASAP. Good. That was good. Oh crap, there's still another one back there, eh? I don't even know where he is. Yeah, there he is, and I can't get to him. I doubt I can get to him before he can kill me. Yeah, LRMs, eh? Okay, well, I got missiles too, but they don't need minimums. Yours do. That was a little intense, and you see what happens if, you, if you, you lose that arm, or that torso, I guess, uh, that side, you lose a lot of weaponry, um, and then your heat, uh, your heat also goes to hell in a handbasket at that point, too, so. Okay. There we go. Oh, whatever. Just watch the damn match. 4-9 situation. Not winning this one. Good, 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 yeah. No kills for me today on these on this mech, but uh, that's okay. Big 
down. He's going down now. Let's see what's left of the last guy. Ah, the locust. The stealth locust. It was not in a good place. This will be over very shortly. Yeah, they just... That tactic is is being used a lot now, and people got to start watching for that. Is that that mountain? The, the what they're looking at here, this range right now, uh, behind him. When we came around that corner, I was hitting the hunchback, and you can see the entire enemy team was rotating behind. So what they do is they leave a couple of salts and heavies on the right side. You go around the mountain like this to attack them. They come up all behind you, and then all of a sudden you're in between two forces. Um, it's not a good position to be in. Um, so I could have gone wider, but right, what would basically mean is I would have been shooting from a different angle while the rest of the team died in that spot because everyone was there. I prefer to stay and try and help out the team from that position, absorb some damage with my armor. Oh, this could be longer than I thought it would be because of the fact that he's a pirate bane and can hide. They had to have seen where he went, though. Yeah, like that. Oh, he didn't even see him. Of course he didn't see him. Ah, there he goes. You know where he is now. He's behind you, dude. You're gonna want to turn around. Oh, unless you go that guy. Okay. I'm just gonna be quiet now. Let them do what they do. So the problem here is he's doing the Vindicator in a circle, and he's got, and the Vindicator's got friends everywhere. So even with the stealth, he's just going to... He's not going to take much before he dies, unfortunately. And yet, he still lives. I mean, they are hard to hit. They are fast. 165.4 kilometers an hour does make it hard to follow. Unless you turn around and smash him in the face. <laughs> so, a little bit of a stomp. I'm going to call that a stomp because it's 12.5. I go 12.6 and up is not a stomp. 12.6 is a loss. 12.7 is a bit of a loss, but anything beyond that, below that is a stomp. So, zero killing blows, five kill assists, two KMDDs, 526 damage done, and 523 taken. That was that guy I hit in the back. Sorry about that, buddy. And four components destroyed. We have a score of 285, which is second highest in the group. And then there's one, two, three, four, fifth, sixth in the match. So yeah, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed these two videos of the Thanatos MRM and ER Mead build. Again, this mech can be done with a different variation. You can try it with SRM sixes, not Artemis, but SRM sixes um, and Mead pulses. Um, you can do it with SRM fours if you want to reduce the heat a little bit uh, and Mead pulses, or you can do SRM sixes and ER Meads and to control the heat that way. So hope you enjoyed these two videos uh, coming up. Uh, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Have a good day.